Greetings adventurers, Delver here, and welcome to the grand return of Spooky Tuesday. Today we are playing Night of the Scissors. This is a indie survival horror game that sort of looks like a mix of Silent Hill 1 and Clock Tower. Uh, it is also inspired by 80s VHS slasher movies, as you can probably tell from our little menu here. Um, there's really nothing to talk about in the settings, so we're just gonna hop right into this. Adam, I told you this thing was heavy. I couldn't have lifted it on my own. Kevin, stop crying, you chicken. Screw you, Kev. I'm ready to break in. What's the plan, then? This post office has been abandoned for months, and nobody has entered since. There's plenty of trash we can sell. Man, I can't wait to make some money and hit the bong once again. Make sure that no one is around, especially cops while I'm inside. And don't let that shutter roll down. The wood log should do the job, though. Sure. Head to the back part of the building. That's where the good stuff is. Fair enough. I'm going to take a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, and so it begins. To control Adam, press was the WASD or arrow keys. Oh. Okay, so I have my controller and the stick works, but the D-pad doesn't. So I guess I will just use uh, the arrow keys like it says. So we got tank control, tank controls. So yeah, obviously, as you can see, the strongest uh, visual inspiration is obviously Silent Hill 1. Open the door and interact with the environment by pressing the E, spacebar, or enter key. You may use the mouse click. Okay, so I can play this keyboard and mouse. Okay, so shift is run. You can use spacebar, E, or left mouse to interact. Nothing of interest, just a magazine showing a pretty woman and a cartoon cover. Just a regular is dead soda vending machine. Oh, heh, is dead. That's Pepsi upside down backwards. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. Nothing useful. These old mailboxes don't seem to contain anything useful. I guess we're going into this staff only uh, door. Go back. Uh, you don't understand, Wall Graffiti. We are the protagonist of a work of horror fiction. We never do the sensible thing. Toggle the flashlight with the F key. In case Adam is in a hurry, run by pressing left shift. Press the escape key to pause. Keep in mind you can only pause while Adam is hidden and safe. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so I can turn the flashlight off. Holy shit. Was it the metal shutter at the entrance? I should check just in case. Of course it's the metal shutter in the entrance. Haven't you ever watched a horror movie before? Kevin, are you there? You knock the shutter. Nobody answers. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'll need to find another way out then. Just some empty boxes. Oh, there's a safe. Wrong combination. Yeah, I don't know the combination. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Door 
is locked. Do I have a map? Pause not allowed. Okay. Well, I don't have a map, so I get the feeling this place is going to be a little clunky to navigate. Okay, there's a locker, so I suppose I can... Whoa! God damn it. Hey, mannequins. Well, I guess that's not a mannequin, it's a piece of cardboard, but still. They are so... I wish horror games would just stop using mannequins. Oh, it looks like there's something over here. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. This note was written with poor handwriting and the paper is covered with blood. It states the following. I fed the soda vending machines and I taught my new friends a lesson. I've lost the kitchen key. Okay. This is disgusting, I'm really scared. Is that a giant turd or something? Or is that like a body part? Oh, okay, this is a hiding place. It's a piece of newspaper article. It's a fact. The, s <laughs> the snipper is undoubtedly still out there. Some transients claim hearing scissors sounds at the metro station while they are waiting alone. But nothing serious has happened. The police has searched every corner of the metro system without success. This is creepy. Okay, so when is the snipper going to strike, I wonder. Door is locked from the other side. Well, that didn't get me anything. Forgot there was one in the entrance. Uh oh.
So what am I supposed to do? Bruh. I mean, I guess the only thing I can do is I can either wander around Bruh. until the snipper shows up and kills me. Bruh. Or I can look up a walkthrough. Bruh. I don't really want to do either, but there's nothing else I can do. Bruh. I did read ahead just a little. Okay, so I think I have to kick the vending machine. Okay, the flesh drops out. The vending machine literally puked the disgusting flesh. Seems like there's something inside of it. Okay, I've got the kitchen key. Is this the kitchen? No, that is evidently not the kitchen. Okay, I cannot believe I missed examining the uh, chunk of flesh last time. I thought I did. Uh oh. Whoa! What the heck? Whoa! Whoa, okay. Okay, the, uh, the scissor guy was a lot closer than I thought he was. Oh, son of a hell, did I just have to restart the whole thing? No, evidently not. Okay, so does this mean I have the vending machine key? I mean, the, uh, the kitchen key still? Can't exactly check my, uh, my inventory or anything. So I'm guessing the scissor guy is like, uh, random. Door is locked from the other side. Like I know last time I was playing the game, the scissor guy didn't pop up then or there. So I guess he's like procedural or procedural, what am I saying? He's he's not scripted, I mean. Like I guess he shows up at random. I guess that that's supposed to throw me off, make me think it's the scissor guy. Yeah, that door is locked. Saddy meal. <laughs> the silhouette of a person made out of cardboard. It seems to be waving. saw someone got cornered and dismembered in this room such a horrible way to die anything else oh crap oh son of a uh, so like what Pause now. Let so. So do do I have the saw still? I don't know. So I guess scissor scissor guy just pops up whenever you, whenever you uh find, an item. I guess is that okay so the door is open so is there even any penalty for dying because it seems like I just respawn a ways away but I still have my items okay that's a shortcut I guess it's a beautiful picture of a seagull I wonder who took it it's full of flesh and blood I don't want to be here Okay, I guess I can cut through the metal bars now. Door is locked.
Oh, another document. It's a piece of a newspaper article. Marie Caldwell, 34 years female. Jeremiah Curtis, 29 male. Harold Blair and Nathan Watson were reported missing within three days. They do not know each other and have nothing in common except they went for a late night walk. Police suspects, oh, police suspects they could have been abducted and recommends not leaving home during night time. Which obviously my guy here was not smart enough to do. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything of interest in this room. Locked from the other side. I like everything, of course. Okay, so this is some kind of like warehouse. Ow, ah, dang it. So, um, I mean, not sure what I was supposed to do there. Didn't really seem to be anything I could do. I mean, it seems like as soon as you hear him, you have like three seconds before he show before he shows up and stabs you floor collapsed on this spot I can see some power generators from here I need rope to go down if I want to keep my ankles okay so I need rope Ceiling lamp is broken. So I guess I'm going to find rope. And then scissor guy is going to show up, stab me. Then I'll respawn with the rope. This is the panel that opens the electric shutter to the left. It might be working, but I have to, to manage to turn on the power generator. Okay, so I need rope to turn on the generator, and then I can open the shutter. Is that rope? Okay. Locked, and this is the part where... Scissor man is going to show back up. Maybe if I turn my light off, I'll have a better chance. Okay, I don't hear him. Oh, I think that signals it. Okay, I'm hiding. Okay. Oh, you found me. I think he's gone. I 
and go down using the rope. <clears throat> the rope seems sturdy. I don't know how it got cut. Luckily, I haven't gotten injured. But how long I've been unconscious, though? Maybe an hour? Who knows? Oh, of course. The warehouse generator powers on. You may escape through the exit shutter now. Oh, but you know it's not going to be that easy. What is that? Another note written with blood. Did you rest well? I have prepared a good surprise to entertain you in the next room. You touch my scissors, you die. I can't wait to turn you into my friend. Oh, okay. So I gotta, gotta avoid the scissors. Well, this won't be hard with tank controls, will it? And inability to accurately judge depth. No, this won't be hard at all. Oh, god dang it. Eh. Okay. This is gonna be a little tricky. I doubt, I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't outrun him. Oh wait, I see, they have little shadows on the floor. How the heck? That's good. This guy loves his cardboard cutouts. This old note written by a supervisor it states the following. Karen, I'm still unsure, but the employees may have been stealing again from the supply room. I put the key in the safe box, customer support room, just for printing. The lock combination is 3482. Don't grab the cash, it's the collections of the day. See my safe in here. Okay, I don't hear him. Okay, three, four, eight, two. Oh, I'm back up here. So what's up here, I wonder? Okay, I need the supply room key to get up there. So 
panel that opens the electric shard to the left. Must find duct tape. Okay, so I bet I find duct tape in the supply room, and the supply room key is in the safe. Oh, so dang it. Okay, so some of his encounters are scripted, apparently. Well, the question is, is that going to repeat? <sighs> yep, on. Wait, I turned around there. Is he coming? Yep. Okay, I think he's gone. Okay, so I head. So can he hear me when I'm running? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that was the wrong way. I've got to go this way. I think the static means he's coming. Or does it? I don't hear the scissors. It's not. So this part's scripted though, right? As soon as I approach the door is when he runs out at me. Or not, maybe it is random.
Okay, three, four, eight, two, I think. Yep. Supply room key. Turn off my light just to be safe. Except I can't see for shit. Now this is where he's going to run out, right? Yep. I'm going to hide in the bathroom. Okay, the static died down. I think that means he's gone. No way, it's this way. So I've got to get to that top overlook balcony thing. Oh, duct tape. Well, I thought I heard him. So wait, can I pause now? Yes, I can. It's kind of dumb that they only let you pause when you're in a hiding spot. Well, I'm not getting the heavy static, so... But now I am, maybe... I don't know, it's hard to tell. I mean, it's not like it really matters, does it? Son of a... Eh. Eh, whatever. Yeah, see, I just respawn here. Like, who even cares? I mean, I guess I should be glad there's no, like, loss of progress. Because with how random that dude is, it'd be pretty freaking annoying if it was. Okay. Duct tape to re rewire.
Well, I guess we know what happened to the other guy. Huh, so I guess that's the end? Well, uh, I'd say that was interesting, like an interesting little, uh, little bite-sized experimental type thing. I don't know, it, it kind of, it sort of felt more like an itch demo. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I, I think it only costs like two bucks, so it's not egregious or anything, but, eh. Can't say I really enjoyed it that much. Uh, it's just like there's no puzzles, and the the enemy is just completely random. There's not really any like strategy or rhyme or reason or anything when it comes to avoiding him. It's just you'll be walking around or you do something and bam, he shows up. You have about three seconds to avoid him. And if you don't happen to be near a hiding space within those three seconds, then you die. Uh, but when you die, you don't lose any progress, so he's not really a threat. I mean, I guess it's, I, I guess it still has a creepy atmosphere, and getting jumped by the guy is still mildly startling, so I guess it still kind of works as a horror game. I don't know, maybe more of a streamer bait type thing, which I guess is what I am doing. And I did jump, so uh, congratulations, Tomas. I suppose you have succeeded at making that. Okay, let's see. Is there any? Uh, is there any credit? Like, uh, it's probably gonna be some kind of jump scare or something at the end after the credits, right? Or not. Okay, well, that was the Night of the Scissors. And I hope you found this more entertaining than I did.